Hi. One of the facts surrounding the color of hair, eyes, and skin tone of the people in different counties of England today, or to light by scientific observation, is that there is a higher percentage of people of a mixed brown or dark type. Usually, this is explained on the supposition that in the process of the Saxonized settlement, the British population was allowed to remain in these parts of England and said to have become mixed with the Saxonite population. Beto found that the area in which there is a larger percentage of brown people in England extends from the River Lea to the Warwickshire of Avon. In dealing with the circumstances of the settlement, these ethnological facts demand special consideration. One explanation is that people of the darker race may have come with the Anglo-Saxon and have settled largely in these parts of the country. There are circumstantial evidence that people of the brown or darker complexion did come to England during the time of both the Saxon and the Danish settlements. A simple search for old Saxon coins will prove this fact to be personal. English is originally a Germanic tongue, but following the Norman Conquest of 1066, England was ruled by the Normans reforming a northern form of Old French called Anglo-Norman French. Under Norman rule, Anglo-Norman French entered the administration, law, and culture of England. Hence, leaving its mark directly in the center of the English language, which is creolized already with around 10,000 words that came from French and Latin alone. Some of these popular French words include aviation, bachelor, champagne, delegate, etiquette, elite, fiancé, gazette, hotel, identity, and many many more. You're probably well aware of Native American words and names like tipi, tabi, tobabi for familiar objects. But what about hickory, jerky, cocoa, and tobacco? Native American and Sub-Saharan African languages give us this creolized form of English in the New World with scores of Native Americans in Sub-Saharan African names and words for things we frequently use, and not to mention the main states, rivers, and towns that evolved from the Native American words and names. Many of us have no clues that many of the words that we frequently use in the English language have their origin from Old Germanic, Middle French, Native American, and Sub-Saharan African. Some of the popular Native American words, names include swoosh, squash, chocolate, hammock, barbecue, avocado, cocoa, guacamole, and many, many more. Contact with Africans incorporated quite a few African wood words into the English language as well. This is a list of some popular English language words and names that come from Sub-Saharan African languages. Apartheid, Banana, Banjo, 
Bango, Chimpanzee, Cola, Coffee, Conga, Congo, Goober, Gumbo, and many, many more. Now, don't forget that the Creole language is said to emerge when people with no common languages are put to dwell together. Safe to say, England is a Creolized Germanic, French, Latin, Native American, and African tongue. 